Hi, um, everyone. Usually I'm on Periscope, so this is not going to be a Periscope reading because I did mention to you guys that if I, I just feel like if I want to do a really good tiara reading that um, I should cream my hands. I should uh, maybe not do it on Periscope. So I'm actually doing it from my house. Today is August 18th. It is tax deadline here in America. And I uh, paid my taxes. I'm really, really, I'm a good girl. <laughs> I pay my taxes. And uh, I went uh, and uh, did it today, ironically, because I tried to do it online. Not that you guys need to know this, but you know what? No one's paying me for this, so you guys got to put up with my life. But I went to do it online using TurboTax, and I couldn't. Somehow or another, because over here in America, we have Social Security, and somehow Social Security has the wrong birth date for me. So I had to figure that stuff out. And I, I re, you know, when it happened, I remembered that. I re, but I've paid my taxes in the past, but I always hand deliver my taxes. Like I wait online and I hand deliver. I, this is the first time I did it electronically. And so something's wrong with my birthday. But then I had a, but I think something happened. So I gotta figure this stuff out now. In any case, I think they have the wrong year. They have the right date, but the wrong year. And I think I know what year they have, so I have to go to Social Security, and I have to tell Social Security, and show them my birth certificate, you know? Anywho, today's tax day, and I paid my taxes because I'm a good girl. And uh, it is what it is. And I always owe. I never not owe. So when everybody panics about not getting money back or owing, I'm like, shoot. <laughs> okay, so oh yeah, that's the one. I was looking for somebody to, to do a reading today, and then they did not uh, contact me. And I'm about to enjoy the rest of my day. So maybe I'll do it tomorrow morning. Because today's normally my day off. Um, so, Sierra and Russell um, is engaged. And, and I predicted that. And I said they would be engaged by March. And that was accurate. And then prior to Sierra and Russell being engaged, I did one just on future. And I told Ciara that Future was going to berate her and, you know, treat her really bad. And sure enough, man, child, future. Oh, hashtag man, child, future did exactly what I said he would do in the video. Like he just really went in on her. And then, you know, I got to tell you, I'm really disappointed in you sloppy boys out there that agree with Future. You know, because Feature said something really, really stupid, like, you know, I don't know what he said. I don't want another man taking care of my baby. Like, oh my God, man, child, future. Hashtag man, child, future. What are you doing? Grow up. Grow up. You know, to be honest with you, I don't even think you're in love with Ciara. I think you just want to control Ciara. But you didn't count on... Uh, Russell Wilson coming along and really puppeteering this like whole thing and you know slowly getting her away from you and not responding to your stupid comments out there future and Russell has been a beautiful example for um, and hope for many people out there because we have all placed ourselves in a position where we all believe we need to sleep with these sloppy men and and hope for the best you know and maybe maybe 
we can start like saying no, like no, because my sex is valued. Like what I offer to you is valuable. It's not to be taken lightly. Like don't do that. And Russell's probably the first guy that helped us to publicly realize that maybe we're doing it wrong. That maybe we don't need to sleep so fast with these men, these sloppy men who don't want to um, um, like pull us into their like personal space, into their heart, into their love, you know? I don't know, maybe I'm talking too much. You guys let me know if I'm talking too much, but I just love Russell's example. And I really, really appreciate, you know, how he pulled sex off the table. And got to know the person and got to know Ciara and, and how much more intimate could that be? So that when you do have sex, man, man, <laughs> in any case. So, Russell, no, future, hashtag man child future, put a counter lawsuit to Ciara because he has a gag order and he has not been able to say anything. And so when Ciara got engaged, oh man, I was thinking, I was like, this dude must be fuming, like fuming, and he was so quiet. And I didn't know that there was a gag order. I don't know, really. I'm not a blogger, so I don't really like watch every single detail. And so I posted, I was like, you would think I would just do a prediction on it, right? But I didn't. I posted, and I was like, man, his future been quiet. And then one of my psychic detectives, detectives they were like, yeah, he's quiet because uh, he has a uh, gag order. With that being said, the uh, he put a counter lawsuit. That's so funny. How many children do you have, future? Huh? Sloppy. How many children do you have? Huh? Didn't you just have one born out of wedlock again? Um. In March, and it's my understanding through the Psychic Detective Network, <laughs> which is not a channel. Um, oh, two, one, two, one is two. That you have another one on the way. Oh, God, girls, stop sleeping with future. Jesus Christ, can't be about the money. There's so many kids out there. There won't be any money left for, you know, any of you. Stop sleeping with him. God, like you're the opposite of Russell. God, so annoying. Girls, please, God. You can be sloppy all you want, but man, do you pay the price for it later. Ew. I'm not carrying somebody's kid for 18 years. Sloppy. Nine. Eight. Nine. Make it good. Ten. All right. So my last card in my main deck, it shows that crazy boy is just not sleeping. He's not sleeping, he can't sleep, he can't think. Like, oh my God, you're such a child. Like, grow up. What is your name? Hashtag man child future. <laughs> grow up, you're such a baby. Um, He might have a disorder, people, because my last card shows anxiety and stress and drinking too much and too much drugs and he's just inside his head and all he could do is talk about Ciara. Seriously, all he could do with his friends is talk about Ciara and not in the best way, don't get me wrong. It's like, you know, I don't even wanna say what he says because you don't deserve to hear his words through me, right? Like I'm not gonna let Russ, uh, not, uh, Future use me that way, but it's pretty bad. <laughs> And then he's in the studio in the middle of the night and all he could do is talk about her and he's got some song that he wants to put. Yeah. 
good for that gag order because he had some song that he was going to put out there um, about you. And, uh, hmm, he's actually trying to figure out a way how he can still get this song out there. So, uh, unfortunately, one of his other baby mamas, he's going to create a scenario very similar to Ciara. And then he's going to put the song out there. And then when Ciara complains, then he's going to say, no, it wasn't about you. Everything's not about you. It was about somebody else. But he's literally going to create a very, very similar scenario. Future is, this is him on drugs in his studio, alcohol, like kind of whacked out, right? And this is him confused, not knowing which way to go, really didn't see that he was going to get trumped the way he got trumped. Like he, like that, like it never dawned on him. Like he is shocked that he has been, um, quieted and he's been trying to figure out a way to get around the gag order right and then he figured out that if he puts through a countersuit that's the way of getting it public that's the way of getting his voice heard so he may not be able to say it without being legally charged by the judge but if he puts it in a lawsuit that becomes public well that's that's brilliant <laughs> so he did get around it and I have to I used to be in a situation with my son's father where he used to use the court system against me. So he kept me in court. Like, I swear, I think it was like every six months. It was hilarious. Like every six months, he kept me in court. And it was a way to keep the control and the abuse going. And this is kind of like what I see. It's kind of like... um I can kind of say what I want because it's legal. The judge can't say anything. Hey, judge, you might want to find him anyway. You might want to show him that he can't use you and use your court and, and, and get around to these disparaging words on Ciara. I would love for the judge to show some strength in that way. Like, even forbid him from filing against her for for anything. I don't even know if that's legal legal for for two years, like something like that. Be hilarious. Um, and the judge might actually. There might be something coming from the judge that where he actually may say, you know, not only am I gonna put an order against you, future, but you will not be allowed to say anything for maybe for five years I think the next time future wants to say something in public through a court order I believe that I believe that the judge is going to have some let's just say it this way that way I don't have to be so specific I believe that the judge is going to give him some guidelines on what can be said in the order and that he's going to have to maintain some sense of decor in his rhetoric in the order. I think he's going to tell his lawyer that. And to be honest with you, did the future file this himself or was this something that a lawyer did? Because <sighs> I wouldn't hire that lawyer. That lawyer is sloppy. Ciara, I definitely see you getting pregnant again. I think do whatever you can to push future back. Uh, and if hopefully you can get a gag order on him for five years. Not that he can't file a lawsuit, remember. I'm not saying that, but it's kind of like 
he cannot say like horrible things about you and use the court at the same time because I definitely see you getting pregnant and I think you deserve the right to be pregnant in peace. Hold on a second. Actually, I need to. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I get victory for Sierra. I get victory, especially concerning this lawsuit. Either the judge is going to throw it out to say, like, you're an idiot future, but there's going to be other guidelines there. He's going to throw it out, and then he's going to be like, oh, and by the way, you cannot do this. You cannot do that. He's going to give him, like, these guidelines. So, future, I think you may have made a mistake by filing this, um, this court thing. I keep forgetting what it's called. Like, a countersuit it gets a countersuit um but you know what you're not the brightest thing future so i want to talk very slowly to you not the best move ever hashtag man child future it's gonna work against you so sierra enough already it is what it is you definitely get the victory Future's hands would be held be be behind his back. He's crazy, by the way, Ciara. Not only, no, seriously, dude is crazy. Not only should you um, have him tested, which I heard, for drugs and alcohol, you might want to also, because this is going to kill him. Watch, watch, watch what I'm about to say, everybody. Have him tested for any mental disease. Mm-hmm. He should be diagnosed with something. If he's not diagnosed already, I think he's men, uh, medically, wait, I think he's self-medicating. Um, and for anybody who has a mental disease, forgive me. I am not talking about you. I'm only talking about future. Future's crazy. Period. So no comments about Tracy. You need to be sensitive to the, to the mental illness. Gotcha. I hear you very clearly. Not talking about the whole of the population. Just talking about one crazy dude. Now, Ciara, if you go forward with insisting upon him having a mental evaluation, you really may win this case and really may get um, your child protected. Because, again, there's nothing wrong with mental illness. However, this man is so irresponsible, throwing babies all over the place, talking trash to you. It's my understanding. He lets his, you know, allegedly, he lets his son pee on himself or comes back smelling like urine and smelling like weed. And so if you include uh, mental, what do you call that thing? mental evaluation then you really just legally you tie him up he's never gonna get um, tested for marijuana never he's never gonna get tested for alcohol but you know alcohol does leave your blood but you know the hair tests you know marijuana you can't really escape that with all the advancements in hair testing um, you know, it's so sad. He is just truly afraid that you will get married. God, you're sick, future. Yeah, Sierra's getting married, future. Really? Um, you know, it's just going to get to the point where the truth does come out. People are going to see the truth. This is a purification, and that's you, Ciara. And it means getting down to the bare essentials, the naked truth, being whole again. You know, this comes. This always comes across to me as someone that lies, but in your advantage, it 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 proves it. Like the whole world will see. Wow, future's messed up. Some of you boys out there, you're gonna stick with future regardless. Good luck to you, because you probably act like him. In which case, I could care less. Um, there's going to be time for you to heal, by the way, Ciara. And um, particularly between now and six months from now, you know, 
it's time to begin the healing process. You have a lawyer, let your lawyer do your thing. You have Russell, let Russell love you. You know, it's time for you to begin the healing process because you do need to get pregnant now and no stress should ever be allowed because future is having, you know, a temper tantrum. You are passionately in love. You are passionately being loved. Bye, Russell. <laughs> In a weird kind of way by future too, but he's passionately loving the fact that he can't control you. So again, it's a little twisted in his head. Um, let's keep something very uh, clear here. Um, Russell is a great man. He's very responsible kind of lives an ordinary life you know let's get that straight he kind of lives an ordinary life um he will let you do what you want to do but there are gonna especially after you have the baby there are going to be times when he is just gonna want you to be ordinary i would say sierra there's nothing wrong with ordinary own it be with it be one with it okay the music world is a very chaotic world um, I would just be really conscious about um, needing anything more than what Russell has to offer. And I don't see that you do. I'm just like, this is probably advice hour now. <laughs> uh, you've already started this journey. I have a, you know, I get this card that tells me that Russell getting you to a healthy place took a minute, took a minute. Sorry, it wasn't like overnight, like Russell came in. I think you both had to figure out, what is this? Do I really care about this person? And finally, I think it was like, look, this is Russell talking. This is the way this is going to go down. And one day, I'm going to love you. I'm going to have sex with you. But I've done that. And it didn't always work out. And so... I'm gonna pull sex off the table. I'm gonna get to know you. If you don't like it, you can keep it, keep moving. But if it turns out after a certain period that this feels good to both of us, let's take it to the next level. And let's do that for a minute. And then we'll get engaged. So I just get that, you know, there was you you weren't on board at first. <laughs> but the full card is one of my favorite cards because it's almost like, well, I could try that. I could try it your way. I've never had anybody explain it to me like that. And so it would be intriguing to figure out what it would be like to have someone say to me, hey, let's take the sex off the table and let's just get to know each other. And, uh, and you won. You won, Ciara. Discipline. Discipline is the key. Discipline is the key in probably every aspect of our lives. And sexual discipline, oh my God, that's, you can't ask for anything better than sexual discipline. I'm sorry. And it worked. So good for you. Um, future will be behind you. Future will be behind you. I, future will be behind you, you know. I got to be honest with you, uh, Ciara, I know you're looking for child support from Future. I think where he used to have money, um, I think the public perception is that he has money. I want to tell you, he doesn't. He doesn't have money or his money is dwindling. And even when he has a, a record that sells, he quite doesn't break even. I'm getting him really, really broke. Like, seriously, guys. I know you guys don't believe me. And he's lying if he says that, you know, if he, like, you know how Tigger likes to flash, like, full money? <laughs> like, Monopoly money? Tigger likes to flash Monopoly money, which is really, really funny because Kylie's way richer than Tigger. In any case, he's gonna, you know, really pull out everything to show people how rich he is, he's lying. Period. Um, 
there's a woman out there that is going to have something to say uh, about Russell um, because she wants to be paid off. She wants to be offered something. And if she's not offered something, then I think she's going to like sell her story. So I'm not going to say whether or not you shouldn't pay her off, but I just think that if you guys do pay her off, then she's forever tied into you because a few years from now, she's going to want to be paid off again. So, Russell, Sierra, let people talk. They will get paid by the tabloid source. It'll be a one-time deal. I hope they get good money for it. You should not be paying anybody off for any story. None. I would say tell it first because she's. you pay her off and it looks really, really bad on you, Russell. It just does. Like, what are you covering up? Why? Blah, 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 blah. If it's, you know, if it's bad, one, come out with it first, or two, just let her sell it and deny it. <laughs> what do I care? Yeah, but whoever it is, you know, Russell, you have somebody sick on your side, too. It ain't just the hour. You have somebody sick on your side. Um, and whatever it is, it, it's, it's, uh, I still see this little girl. Whatever it is, it's so Sierra would walk away from Russell. Um, and it's also, it could be someone that you were <coughs> once involved with, <coughs> Russell. And I get that she, uh, this is a card of she could be missing you and wants to take some of that control back and have you admit that, you know, you loved her or whatever. I also get that she's sick. I also get that if you play into her game, she, she's she got you tied and it's forever this carrot dangled over your head, so she's always going to need money from you. I get that she wants you to, uh, Sierra, leave this guy, whoever this woman is, um, and this is her just waiting, waiting for the optimum time to, you know, nail um, Russell to the cross. Okay, <clears throat> let me wrap this up with uh, Ciara. You're so going to have this little girl. You're so going to get pregnant. <clears throat> this is pregnancy, <coughs> which will lead to marriage, which is future's uh, biggest concern right now. Like, could you just wind up being married and happy and being without him? Let me remind everyone, Future does not love Ciara. Let's be clear about that. Future needs to control Ciara. Two different things. If anything, he's in love with the fact that Russell has taken his place. And that's his problem. Not Ciara. He actually doesn't love her. <laughs> love with the idea. Okay, guess what, guys? I'm done. Call me for your personal readings, 818-985-2010. Thank you for tuning in. I'm grateful. I love you. Call me for your personal readings. For international customers, DM me because you can pay through PayPal and I will do you. <sighs> I will do you as well. We can Skype. We can WhatsApp. We can Facebook, video, audio international customers do what it takes bye guys love you dm me for any uh international people everybody else you can talk to me on youtube facebook twitter instagram call me if you're on personal readings 818-985-2010 thanks guys bye